digital world where networks connect everything. From your phone to the global internet, networking makes it possible for us to share, communicate and interact. But did you know there are different types of networks based on size, range and purpose? Let's dive into the fascinating world of networking types. First, we have the local area network or LAN. It's the most common type of network typically found in homes, offices and schools. LAN connects devices within a relatively small area like a single building or a campus. Think about when your computer, printer and smart devices are all connected to the same Wi-Fi. That's a LAN in action. LANs are great because they are fast and efficient. They use technologies like Ethernet and Wi-Fi to allow all devices to communicate easily. For example, when you send a file from your laptop to a printer, the LAN ensures that the data is transferred seamlessly. Now, when we need to connect networks over long distances, we move to the Wide Area Network or WAN. WANs cover large geographical areas, cities, countries and even continents. The internet itself is the largest WAN, connecting billions of devices across the world. To make WANs work, data is transferred over vast distances using cables like fiber optics, satellite links or even mobile networks. A simple example of WAN use is when a company has offices in different cities and needs to connect them securely. Next up is the Metropolitan Area Network or MAN. This type of network is larger than a LAN but smaller than a WAN, typically covering a city or a large campus. Imagine an entire city connected, libraries, businesses and universities all communicating through a shared infrastructure. MANs are especially useful for city-wide services like public Wi-Fi or communication between government buildings. They offer a faster, more reliable connection than VANs because the distance is shorter and the infrastructure is more centralized. Personal Areas Network or PANs connect devices within a very short range, typically around an individual. Ever sync your smartphone with your wireless earbuds or smartwatch? That's a PAN at work. PANs use technologies like Bluetooth or infrared to connect devices wirelessly within a 10 meter range. This type of network is perfect for everyday tasks, like using your phone's hotspot to connect other devices. Now, let's talk about security. When we need to connect securely over a network, we use virtual private networks or VPNs. VPNs create a secure tunnel over the internet, allowing you to access private networks remotely while keeping your data safe. Whether you are working remotely or browsing online, VPNs protect your data from hackers and keep your identity private. It's like having your own personal highway, safe from the ones who try to find out the information without the consent. From networking types, let's move into the world of wireless technology Networks don't always need cables to connect. Wireless networks are all around us. The most popular wireless technology is, of course, Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi allows devices to connect to the internet without wires, within a specific range, usually up to 100 meters indoors. You have probably used Wi-Fi to connect to the internet at home, in a coffee shop, or even at the airport. Next, we have Bluetooth which operates over short distances and is ideal for connecting devices like speakers, headsets or wearables. Bluetooth uses low power, making it perfect for small, battery-operated devices. And see, wireless networking technology is evolving. New advancements like 5G are revolutionizing how we connect. 5G is the next generation of wireless networks, offering faster speed, lower latency, and the ability to connect millions of devices in real time. It's a game changer for smart cities, autonomous vehicles, and even virtual reality. So there you have it. From a small scale pan in your pocket, to the global connections of WAN, and the wireless world of Wi-Fi and 5G, networking is the backbone of our connected world. 
Each type of network serves its unique purpose, helping us stay connected, work smarter, and even build the cities of the future. Whether you're browsing online or setting up a smart home, now you know how these networks power our world.